Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. So happy to have you. My name is Dana. I hope you decide to stick it around for the long haul. If you do, be sure to hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I thought we would do something a little bit different. I've done videos in the past of just like a full face using products that I've forgotten about or full face using old favorites, but I really wanna take you through my collection and just pull out products that I wanna use for the next week, week and a half. And then from this video, if you see some products that you're really wanting me to test out or just like use again, just leave them down below in the comments and then I can feature them in a future video. So for the most part, products in here are products that have been out for a while. I kind of keep my new products that I really wanna test out out to the side so you won't be seeing too many of those. More than anything, I kind of hope that this video helps to inspire you to reach back into your collection and shop your own stash as well. It kind of just helps me to dwindle down the products that probably should have been decluttered but I've been holding on to because they're just like, I don't wanna say they're not worthy of being in my collection because that just sounds really mean and brutal, but products that probably deserve to be in somebody else's hands, that'll give them more love, okay? And then probably later this week, I will be doing a video doing a full face tutorial using these actual products, as well as some other new products because I got so many things in that I do wanna share with you. Okay. I'm blabbing, let's go ahead and get to the makeup. All right, so up here on the top of my drawers, I just keep actual lipsticks. There's some like lip crayons, brushes that need to be washed. That might be a video for later this week. My lip liners, my Sonos, and then this might be something that we pull aside. I may be pulling out more than just like one product from each category. This is something that I actually ordered months ago from Yes Style, and I don't think I've tried this yet. It's from the brand McQueen New York. It's a serum tint professional. It's just a serum lip tint. We'll get into the actual like shade name and all that stuff later on, but it looks interesting. So let's go ahead and set that aside. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the primas. Okay, to be honest, I'm kind of ashamed of this situation because I did a massive declutter not too, too long ago, and this was really organized. And as you can see, it's kind of gotten a bit messy now, but primers, I switch these up quite a lot. Like I really like going in and giving all my primers some love. So this might be harder to find one that I haven't used in a long time. Some primers that you've seen in recent videos are the JCat Beauty H2O Fresh Dewy Primer. I just did a video reviewing one of their brand new foundations and used this. Of course, the Vidia Lumi Layer Primer. This one is in constant rotation. The Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This has become a recent favorite. But one that I haven't used in a long time, oh, I actually have two new ones in here. Those need to be pulled out to try. The Joa Beauty Glow Activator and Blur Activator. I have tried the Blur Activator once, but I haven't tried the Glow one yet. So that can be our foundations for the week, or those are not foundations, those are primers. Okay, next up in here, I have my loose powders. This side over here, these are like backup products and then loose highlighters. These I have been talking about in pretty much every single video. The Too Faced, what are they called? Turn Up the Light Complexion Enhancing Highlighting Palette. The highlighters are kind of meh in my opinion. It's this, that's the like powerhouse of the palette. These soft focus powders, they just blur your pores. I just love that powder so much. But I kind of already had something in mind for loose powders and it's these JCap Beauty Luxury Powders. These are supposed to be like dupes of the Bed Nye powders and I haven't used these in a long time. So I'm gonna pull out both Porcelain and Cameo. I think that would be a great option. And to be honest, I haven't really played with loose highlighters that much recently so should we go in with like the MAC ones or actually you know what these makeup forever starlit glow oh actually no let's do this one I just said actually so many times the artist couture diamond glow powder I have mine in Illuminati I only have one of these I know people rave about them I have not used this in forever so I think this would be a great product next in this third drawer this is where I keep cream or liquid highlighters blushes bronzers and then we have some like highlighting palettes and whatnot back here so what can we play with in here that I haven't used in a while? Physician's Formula of Rose Gold is one of like my all-time favorites. I use that though way too much. What is this NARS Multiple? We have the NARS Multiple in Hot Sand. I have used this in a video though. I kind of want to try these again. Both of these are from K-Beauty Brands. We have the Innisfree Smart Drawing Blusher and then the Juicy Bong Blusher. Whenever I first used these, I just thought they were way too sheer. I kind of want to test them again or this Milk Makeup Blush Oil. 
I think I might just pull all three of these aside and then because these two have been on the verge of a declutter so I said I wanted to try them one more time so I think we'll keep it for that all right do we have a cream contour that I want to use though what is this oh I love these the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighters those are so nice um, I feel like I haven't used my nude sticks in Bondi Babe in quite a while. So we'll go ahead and pull that out as an option as well. Let me see if there's really anything back here that I want to use. What is this revolution one? Oh, hmm. Maybe we'll use this as, no, I feel like I did use that some my recent, I mean, not super, super recently, but recent enough. All right, next drawer. In here we have all of my bronzers. I have my Becca bronzers, I love those. Bobbi Brown, Makeup Geek, Bare Minerals. I feel like bronzers are kind of like primers for me where I do go in here quite a bit and change up what I wanna use. Oh, but how about this? The MAC Cheeky Bronze. I haven't used this in quite a while. I think that'll be a good option. All right, next drawer is highlighters. Okay, Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. That's kind of one that I had in mind because I feel like I haven't used those in such a long time. That's the only thing. I don't want to pull out things. Oh, let's do this. This is one of the sleek makeup palettes. This is the highlighting palette in Solstice. So you have two cream products and then two powder products. I haven't used this in such a long time. I think that would be a good one. All right, and then the last drawer on this top section, we have blushes. I don't play with a lot of these Marc Jacobs blushes. I think Lines and Last Night, this one, this is the main one that I use just because I love like peachy and orange type blushes, but I haven't really played with these pink ones that often. Oh, what is this one though? Flesh and Fantasy. That's really pretty, but let's see what we have. I feel like I never do pink blushes, but we go in with Kink and Kisses. I think this one, yeah, we'll do this for blush. Now moving on to this second section. This first drawer has all of my ColourPop shadows, liquid glitters, liquid shadows. I kind of feel like I need to pick a palette first though before I go into this drawer. So let's see. Oh, this is more pigments, eyeshadows, single shadows. Oh, this drawer is a mess. I have palettes in here and then I have palettes over here as well, but I feel like I haven't used many palettes in here recently. What if we do like a basic palette, like the Tartlet, is this in bloom or no, this is just called the Tartlet palette. I'm kind of thinking what if we just take a basic palette, but then like a fun glitter. Let's do that. Okay, in here I think we'll pull out Hmm, these are hard to see ones. These moved over to the side. Should we do color pop or I really like these Pixie Beauty liquid shadows. We have this one in the shade Starry Night, just like a black base with tons of glitter. That could be really pretty. Let's just go ahead and grab a couple of these. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed these three Pixie Beauty shadows. Now moving on to lips, I did grab this one from the very beginning. I should declutter these. I love the colors, but I hate the scent of these L'Oreal lipsticks. Let's go in with some of these Buxom Full Force lipsticks because I actually don't think I've used these on camera at all. We have the shade Triple Threat. That one's really pretty. Let's grab this one. Maybe Goddess and Boss. Some really pretty nudes. That way, depending on the look, I can either go in with a nude or a red lip. Okay. And then just in case if you were curious, on this very bottom drawer, we just have lots of eyeliners and then larger palettes. Ooh, I kind of want to play with my NARS shadows. Maybe that'll be a different video. We could do like a full face of NARS. So I actually just did a foundation declutter recently, so this drawer isn't too bad. I don't think I've ever used this foundation on camera and I have a little bit of a self tan going on right now, so I feel like I can actually go in and use this shade. So I think this will be our foundation, the Urban Decay Stay Naked. This next drawer, I already know is a freaking hot mess and there's Landon's dirty soccer ball. Don't even ask what happened. This 
is a mess. It needs to be cleaned as well as this dirty sponge. That's gross, I know. Okay, so something that I see right off the bat is the Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam. This is something that I like to use just on my under eyes to brighten. This is one of those products that I feel like I use, but I don't really use it too often on camera. So I think this would be a good option. Now, moving on to concealers. If you follow me at all, then you know the Too Faced Born This Way concealers are my absolute favorite. I also adore the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion as well as the Maybelline Age Rewind concealers. Why am I even bothering to pick this up right now? It's so gross. Okay, but one that I have, oh, wait, maybe we can use, I feel like this concealer though is a bit too dark. This is the um, concealer for the foundation. I'll go ahead and grab it and we'll see in the video if it works. But just in case, let's have a backup plan as well. So for that, what if we do, so this is kind of like my normal concealers and then a little mixing plate. Back here are like potted concealers and then like thicker tube concealers in the back. What if we go in with this? This is the Wonder Beauty, what are you called? Dualist Concealer. It's like a concealer stick and then a normal liquid concealer on the bottom. That way if the Urban Decay one doesn't work out, this one probably should. All right, I think that's everything minus a face powder, right? I don't know if I will go in with a powder for sure, but if I do, we need to have an option. Let's go ahead and go in with this Wander Beauty one. Since we have the concealer, let's go ahead and test out the powder again. But see, I know that I like that one. What if we do a Benefit Hello Flawless? I haven't used that in many, many moons. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out what shade. That looks really yellow. We have Petal and Champagne. I think we'll go ahead and pull out Champagne. I don't think the packaging is the same anymore. I actually think it's like a cute smiley face, but that is going to be our powder. All right, so just in case you missed any of the products, here's a rundown of everything that I pulled out for the week. I also added a setting spray. I almost forgot that. For that, we have the Bare Minerals Dew Mist. As you can see, which I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have multiple options for some products. For instance, the blushes, if something doesn't work out, then it can be decluttered, or if I just end up going with like a different lip look than what I initially wanted. I have some nudes, I have some reds, we have a loose highlighter, a pressed highlighter. Um, for eyeshadows though, I feel like we kind of narrowed it down just to one palette and then different eye toppers. All right, y'all, so that wraps up this video. Let me know if you guys do like this style of video. I know it was something a little bit different from my channel. Stay tuned for later this week to see the get ready with me slash tutorial using all of these products. Hopefully everything turns out well, like what I have pictured in my mind. I'm actually really looking forward to using that Tartlet palette because I have not used that easily in over a year. It's probably expired, but I feel like with eyeshadow palettes, they last for a really long time. I guess we'll find out if my eyelids do something crazy or not. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner and probably play some Animal Crossing. Let me know if you guys are playing Animal Crossing New Horizons as well. Keegan got it for me yesterday and I am obsessed. All right, so that's it for this one. Love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.